In this demonstration, we'll use Tanium Automate to orchestrate the patching of a two-node SQL cluster. Um, the examples we've used here could be tailored to your environment. Uh, they're all often different, uh, but we'll walk you through what's set up. So we'll go into Automate, and a quick refresher if you're not familiar. So Automate can orchestrate various steps. So we can run Tanium actions. So these are the core platform actions. We can control patch deployment. And we can perform validation, require confirmation, that kind of thing. So in this example, we are going to use some sensors to validate things are in the right state. We're going to use Tenium Patch to deploy our patches. Uh, if you're familiar with Patch, this will be very easy to pick up. And then finally, we're going to use core platform actions to orchestrate the moving around of the cluster nodes. So I shall go to this and let's go and have a look at our playbook. So this scenario is very, very simple. Uh, this is a two node availability group SQL server. Obviously, um, every environment is different and people often have other things that they need to do as well as uh, patch the, the server itself. So that could be stopping services, that kind of thing. And that's all possible with this using the action. So just to walk you through what we've got here, if we expand this, we're not using email notifications or anything in this example. We certainly could, nothing stopping you from doing that. But the first step is to use an action that we've created that switches over the SQL availability group to the secondary node. Um, and as part of this, we are using targeting that validates that that secondary node is in the right state. So we're looking for it to be connected and synchronized to the, the critical things here. Assuming that's good, we will then run that action and that will fail over our availability group. And then what we will do is check that this has actually failed over correctly. So we'll then look at the state of node one and make sure that is now showing as connected and synchronized and the secondary. So we're, we're validating that the failover actually took place. Next piece is deploying our patches. So if you're familiar with our patch module, this will be um, very familiar to you. Uh, well, what we've got here is our targeting and our patch list. So patch list is a dynamic one that's based on the release date plus seven days and targeting is our computer name. Um, obviously, this is quite a static example. You could um, make this dynamic if you wanted to. And then we've got the rest of the configuration for the patch deployment here. So in this case, it's going to be a one-time deployment. Uh, we're not going to use any notifications, and we are going to restart our devices when we're finished. Um, we're then going to wait uh, for 10 minutes once patching is completed. Um, once this is finished, we are going to validate that, again, our node one is still secondary and it's still healthy. It's in a good state. Um, so we want to make sure that things are as they should be. And then we're going to fail over to node one. So we're going to move things back to node one. We're going to validate that node two is secondary now and is in a, a good state. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing that we did with node one for deploying those patches, but on node two. And that's the end of our... Uh, playbook so really straightforward obviously you could add other steps in here if you needed to stop and start other services perhaps on other devices that are dependent on that sql cluster however you choose to do that um, you might also wish to use the email notification option so if we go into edit here we can throw an email notification perhaps if we finish the playbook before it completes successfully um, equally when it has completed because patching could take a little while we don't want to sit there and watch it we could um notify when we start and when we complete and if there's any errors so we can go and get on with other things and that's all there is to it uh, really straightforward um, we can obviously add other steps in move things around as we need to as is standard for automate so hopefully that was a useful quick overview and uh, we'll speak to you soon